in the workshop a diabolical model steam engine part 16. This is definitely the final episode as James Evans collects his engine. Someone gave this engine to James a while ago and these photographs show what it looked like when he first got it. It really was in a sorry state. It was broken, dirty and didn't work at all. It wouldn't even rotate. I wouldn't normally take on a job like this but James is only 16 years old and I thought well it may give him some encouragement. To get the engine from this clip to this one took quite a lot of effort. And here it is running in the workshop. Oh that's great that. Oh I that's very powerful, how oh, are That's something you want to do, that's what I'm doing here. Yeah. Just keep going until the rust disappears, yeah. The engine does not run super smoothly at low speeds, but the fact that it runs is something. As far as I can see, the only turn parts were the flywheel and the cylinder. The rest of the parts are fabrications, using a saw, a drill and a file. Time for James to take over now. I am here in Keith Apton's workshop to collect my diabolical steam engine, which is now slightly less diabolical. I'd like to thank Keith for his effort in making the engine run, which we never really expected to be as good as it is now, but then again, it is still certainly not the greatest steam engine ever. So I'm now going to show you it running from various angles, starting with me connecting the compressed air line. There are quite a few interesting things on this engine that I've noticed since I've seen it again. One of them being that when it runs, the bed plate actually bends. That is because it was probably an old Victorian door plate. Another thing which indicates this is, if you've been watching the series, you'd have seen that there's a lot of jointing and soldering on this engine, and that is maybe to cover up an old keyhole from a door. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this series about my diabolical steam engine, which is finally less diabolical. I'm going to finish this video showing the engine running on compressed air. Thank you for watching. Because the engine has been running for a while, we need to put some oil into the steam chest. And we also need to lubricate all the moving parts.
an interesting project going from this to this. And that is it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.